The people I meet today, I will meet tomorrow. The story repeats itself in a way and form so that it is very possible to meet tomorrow the people we just met today. Therefore, we need to be thinking carefully at each meeting. For we don't know who we are really meeting. Generally speaking, people tend to pay no importance to every small meeting that happens, they are just another meeting, another person, and just a stranger. Recall the scripture that tells the story of people who accommodated angels without knowing. Most meetings and situations will happen in the form of things we don't really like or things that don't look too good, but the thing about the mystery of life is that life is a mystery and things really happen in a mysterious way. And for the story of life to remain a mystery, as it is already, things will happen in your life in a mysterious way. It goes to the point where we will meet people who will open for us doors to greatness in a mysterious way. This mystery gives us access to hidden treasures of life. Therefore it is important to understand that the people who will take us into the mystery will not always look or dress the part. The people we meet today are the same people we are going to meet tomorrow. How are we going to treat them? How should we relate to them? For we need to be able to look at people and look past the masks on their faces and see the deep ocean of the soul, and it is not easy. Who would want to go that deep at each encounter? The type of choices that God wants us to make daily are those that lead us to walk on the water, as Peter stepped that night on the water. The scriptures tell us that when the apostle Peter saw Jesus walking on the water, Peter asked him to invite him to do the same also, and, Jesus, said, come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him saying to him, O oh you of little faith, why did you doubt? Mount 1428-32. The invitation into mystery might sometimes be introduced to us in a very ordinary way, but the next step will produce a tremendous phenomenon. In thinking so, the moves that we can do for other people need to be organized, orchestrated, and rehearsed, for it is very probable that we are going to have a second meeting with them. Therefore, we should take the first meeting with extra care, even if it is with a person who seemingly will never add any meaning into our lives. The people that we meet daily are the chains to our greatness, every single person that we meet has an image and the mark of God on him or her. It is the connection of those small pieces that brings us into the windows of the universe. There is no way that the value of a human being can be calculated. God alone knows the value of people, and this is why only the blood of Jesus could be used to redeem people. With this in mind, we can see how each person we meet is important, and this importance is of a value that we should not look merely on people's faces. For God made the gift of life, and as we meet people daily, it is a piece of wisdom to understand that those people are coming back the next day. This knowledge arms us with strength and courage to engage intentionally with people who we meet to produce a joyful experience, for we can't calculate or predict if we are in the presence of an angel or a king. God, Time and Choices this is taken from the book, God, Time and Choices. Get the book on Amazon now. Link in the description. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more video like this.